All right. Uh, all right. So good morning once again for my uh, science eight class. Um, I decided to start another lesson today that we may be able to for us to be able to uh, at least no um, move forward and maybe become productive for the next uh, 16, 16 days left hoping that uh, the government will be uplifting or lifting the bueno, lifting the the ECQ no on April 30 all right uh, before I go, I'm going to start uh, I'd like to just uh, extend my condolences to Mr. Hesron Felix uh, his father passed away yesterday I believe no and right now I uh, the wake of his father is at uh, CCDC Chapel, but it was mentioned that at around 11 o'clock they will be bringing the the wake uh, the body no to uh, Nueva Biscaya wherein doon po taga doon po yung mga kapatid na ni uh, Sir Ruben Felix. All right, so condolences po sa family uh, to the Felix family. All right, so today um, I'm going to. We're going to discuss about a new lesson. So we're done with your digestive, uh, digestive system already. And we start now to what you call another another branch in your, still under biology, but another branch there, which talks about uh, your heredity. Uh, specifically, uh, we get to study on this uh, this lesson, genetics. All right, so genetics po. So later on, you get to see um, uh, some fun facts about genetics and uh, different concepts that is related to it. Now, um, just to give you a heads up that this lesson right now is not uh, is not that easy for you to understand unlike your digestive system that you are able to relate to it is because you yourself have your uh, has your you yourself have your digestive system that uh, you get to experience no kahit hindi masyadong i, i, natin, i discuss natin um, at some point may maintindihan pa rin kayo. All right, so before I get to start, no, uh, I'm sending the link first to the to your no, to your to your uh, classmates. Alright, so hintayin lang po natin, no? I'll be sending the link to your classmates here para makuha nila yung mm -hmm, makakalo yung mga Alright, so bakit kaya pag na every time na nag live ako, it's always humihina yung internet. Anyway, uh, yeah, so na send ko na po doon sa group chat na mga classmates nyo. All right. Anyway, we'll continue the lesson pa uh, for me to be able to not bore you out with this one, no? So um dito po sa lesson natin, uh, I'll be dividing this one into two parts. Uh is because the one given your creeper is actually a very long and complicated lesson. Pag pinasok ko po yun sa isang video, iabot po tayo siguro ng more than one hour for us to discuss that one. So I'll be dividing that one. And on this part, I'll be just be uh, introducing to you uh, what you call your cell division. But before going there, no, punta muna tayo sa pinaka-general. Alright, so, yun na po, no? Um, Lesson po natin ngayon sa Kuiper nyo is lesson 16.1. However, in general, this is what you call your heredity or your, we study genetics on this uh, topic. So, ito po yung lesson natin for today. Alright, so, yun na nga po. No? So, let's go now to the objectives of this lesson. Alright, so, ano bang objectives ng lesson na ito? Um, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to, number one, explain how the phases of mitosis contribute to cell reproduction and determine how mitosis contributes to the maintenance of organism's normal function. Alright, so, actually, um, yung, dito, yung, yung point dito is that
Right. Yung point po dito is that um Right. So yung point po natin dito is that um no, meron tayong mga terms na halos magkakalapit na maybe later on we get to see na ano bang difference nito from that that one. So um if you get to kwan no, if you get to encounter that one or maybe you are curious about it, you can PM me for more details about it. So let's go right away to the lesson. All right. So tanggalin ko po yung mukha ko dito sa gilid. All right. Anyway, Punta tayo po doon sa pinakauna. So, before we're, before going here, no, I think kailan ito mauna. Alright. So, before going here, no, let's go and talk about your genetics. Ano ba yung genetics? Alright. Genetics is actually a sub-branch of biology. No? Yung biology kasi maraming mga branches. No? We have your zoology, which studies about uh, uh, animals. We have your botany, which studies about your plants. Specifics pa. Meron tayong mga tinatawag if you get to want to study... Um, Bacteria, there is what you call your bacteriology, which is under microbiology. We have also, if you want to study uh, viruses like the coronavirus, we, uh, those people who study that one, we call them, uh, we call that study virology. Alright, so, ang specific po na pag-aaralan natin ngayon is your genetics. Which is a branch of science that studies heredity. Um, I'm not sure if this is, for, this is your first time for you to be able to encounter this term. But, no, andito po sa baba, ano po yung heredity? No? So, what is heredity? Heredity, no, is, right, so heredity is actually also what you call your inheritance or biological inheritance. So, if you don't encounter the term heredity, um, some people will mention about uh, uh, inheritance, parehas lang po yun. Alright, so parehas lang po yun, uh, you can actually, um, Pwede yung baliktaran niya. Pero, pero to be really very specific about it, when you talk about heredity, it's actually your biological inheritance. no? Uh, kasi minsan tinatawag natin yung inheritance, yung mga namamana mo. Eh minsan, meron tayong tinatawag natin yung mga bagay na namamana mo. Let's say for example, if your parents pass away, you get to inherit uh, the properties of your parents. So inheritance din po yung tawag natin. But here in, the, in, in this lesson that we have, we talk about your biological inheritance. So, it is the passing on of traits, no? traits uh, from uh, parents to their offspring, either through a sexual or sexual reproduction. Alright? So, ito po yung meaning ng heredity. Alright? So, in this case, uh, when we talk about traits, ano ba yung traits? Ito yung mga namamana natin sa parents natin. If your parents... No? Let's say for example, if you're, one of your parents has blonde hair and your father has black hair, your mother is has blonde hair, your father is black, has black hair. No? However, ano bang mangyayari? Ano bang chance na makukuha ng, ng anak niya yung pagka-black hair o yung pagka-brown hair ng mother niya? Black hair ng father niya or brown hair ng mother niya? So, yun po yung tinatawag natin inheritance. Let's say for example, when you talk about your eyes, whose eyes did you get? Is it the, the one from your father or your mother? Yung tangus po ng ilong nyo, saan nyo po naman na yan? Is it, is it from your mother or is it from your father? So, yun po, no? When you talk about your eyes, eye color, no? Oh, meron mga, mga, uh, mga Europeans, to be specific, they have blue eyes. No? Some others have the hazel green eyes. For, for um, Filipinos, for Asians, we have your brown or your black eye. No, hindi yung black eye na black eye na mukhang panda yung 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 kulay ng iris po um that's actually your ano you can inherit that one the uh, your nose pag pangu ka ba o matangos ka is actually also inheritance yung traits yun yung namamana natin sa parents natin yung itsura po natin saan ka mas leaning are you leaning more to look like your father or your mother either way yun po yung tinatawag natin na traits so Paano siya napapasa? We call the, uh, uh, yung napapa, pagpasa ng mga traits na yan, yung mga katangian in the, in the Filipino dialect, no? we call that one your heredity. And the one that studies heredity is what you call your genetics. So, yun po yung uh, point ng nandito po. Alright, so let's go on now to the next one. Now, this is ko, no? Um, this is really very, uh, very tricky because we have what you call a, a, a process, what you call your cell division. Uh, simply, when you talk about division, is the dividing of your cells. No, so your cells divide to the uh, uh, 
let me read here in your creeper cell divisions of process by which multicellular organisms produce more cells uh, this process is related to the ability of living organisms to reproduce no minsan na encounter natin yung term na cellular reproduction no dumadami po yung nagreproduce po yung cell natin and paano po siya nagre-reproduce paano po dumadami yung cell natin it's actually because of what you call a process called cell division so it's actually parang um merong pagka ano pagka ironic to mga terms na ginagamit natin for you to be able to multiply the number of cells para dumami po yung cells no kailangan po nila mag-divide so paano parang two terms you know meron tayong for multiply and divide for your cell to multiply in bigger numbers no because let's say for example if uh, you when you were younger no a baby ka pa mas kokonti yung cell mo kasi maliit ka pa doon pero as you grow and grow no you add more cells to your body and how does the adding of the cells or multiplying of the cells there paano ba sila dumami we have what you call uh, a process called cell division no in your cell division no before we're going there no meron po tayong mga dalawang process under cell division no na uh, about different specific cells that undergo that one however we talk about later on the general first but before going there let's get to talk about the different parts that are related to this process all right so punta po tayo dito sa first slide natin so we have i believe that this is not your first time for you to encounter the term called chromosomes no chromosomes are actually this are ano this are yung uh, dito po yung mga traits po na nakukuha natin as actually concentrated in this part no which is what you call your chromosomes if you encounter even the term here dna no nas yung mga dna po natin is actually in your chromosomes all right so marami na naman mga terms dito late actually there are three terms that you may later on interchange them but let's get to be very specific and let's not try to interchange them all right so it says here that for a cell to replicate or divide no? so kapag hindi mo ma-encounter yung term na divide or cell cell division no there is what you call your replication cell replication it's actually almost the same all right it has no? it has to double its content such as water organelles and dna kailangan niya mag-double this is the reason why, no? There is what you call your DNA replication later on. Oh, this is related to this, uh, to this, uh, this process, all right? A basic characteristic of organism is its number of chromosomes, all right? So, tayo pong human, no? Meron tayong specific number of chromosomes that we have. However, this is another topic that I will be sent, uh, I will be discussing on another video, right? So, Yung chrom number of chromosomes po natin is hindi same sa number of chromosomes ng aso, hindi po the same ng number of chromosomes ng, ng, ng birds, ng different organisms because, no? Yan, da, dyan tayo nagpapa-unique. That's the reason why, no? It's, it's, this is also the, the, the point we're in. Uh, there's a concept of uh, reproduction na pag hindi match yung number of uh, chromosomes, no? Because, minsan, no meron tayong mga issues about uh, is it possible for human to 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 uh, to undergo reproduction no with another with another organism pwede ba yung tao at saka yung kabayo tapos lalabas centaur or yung mga ano tayo yung half tikba lang half human half kabayo um when you talk about science, no, dahil dyan sa very specific chromosomes na hindi tayo magkamatch, that is impossible for, for organisms to, to interbreed na basta-basta. No? Especially kung hindi niya kauri. Alright? So, ito po yung tinatawag natin. So, meron po tayong tinatawag ng mga parts dito. No? Specifically, in this picture, no, let me just uh, transfer this picture to a bigger one para mas maka-relate po tayo. Alright? So, on the spot din po na kung Go on ng lesson dito. All right. So here, no. When you talk about your your chromosome, this is actually di, ito po yung nas pangatlo po dito sa right is actually already your chromosome. However, your chromosome, you get to see that there are many strands there that is actually composed of uh, uh composed that composes your chromosomes. No, so wait lang, baka sumasagabal yung yung photo 
mukha ko. Hindi pala. Alright. So, we have your diff- mga strands dyan. But before going there, no, when you talk about your single strand lang po dyan, we call that one your chromatin. No? Chromatin. However, as I've mentioned, dito makikita natin specifically, mayroon ng mga intertwined na mga intertwined na mga tawag natin dyan, no? Mga chromatins dyan na intertwined sa one side. Now, not to be specific, the chromatin needs to replicate. Kailangan nilang mag-double. As was, was mentioned on the first slide, no? Na kailangan nilang mag-double. Now, once, no, a chromatin now has another copy of itself, we call that one your chromatids. Or to be specific, we call that one your sister chromatids. Now, to, no, when you talk about the ones here, Yung nasa chromatin natin po, ano bang nasa strand na yan? Uh, those strands there that we have, no? Alright. So, mga strands po na nandito, no? For your chromatins, when you talk about your, your strands there, those are actually composed of DNA, no? Na specific na nakuha po natin sa mga parents natin. That's the reason why we call ourselves as hybrid. Hybrid po tayo ng father and mother nyo. Alright? So, I have my father, I have my mother, I am hybrid, 50%. Meron akong nakuwang traits sa mother ko. 50% nakuha ko po yung traits sa father ko. Now, if you're going to ch- combine the 50 and 50, here I am now, a 100% human that has no the combination traits of my father and my mother. Now, therefore, I call myself as hybrid. Alright? So, andito po sa strand na yan are what you call your... no. Ito po yung mga DNA na dyan. Now, as I've mentioned, your DNA needs to double their contents. Kaya dito nakita natin double. No? Pag nag-double, tawag natin dyan, duplicated DNA na or we call your sister chromatids. Now, kailangan nilang mag-condense, dumami at no, nakita natin, kailangan nilang dumami dyan kasi kailangan nga nilang mag to the point na nag-i-intertwine, nag-coil up na po dyan. We call that one now no, as a whole, your chromosome. But no, let's not forget that in the middle of this chromosome, the one that's holding them both together, your 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 sister chromatids na po dito, no, yung left and your right here. So ito po right side, ito po left side. Sinong naghawak sa kanila? It's actually your what you call your centromere. Right? So you'll be encountering this one at a different ako, no? later on sa mga sa mga process that you'll undergo my Alright, so we, we pronounce that one your my dosis. Let's go now to the next one. Alright, so your chromosome refer to a more compressed and cold status of your DNA seen during cell division. Alright, so mention. Chromosome is seen as a condensed version of the chromatin. Kaya nga nag-condense, kumapal. No? Kumapal. So therefore, we call that one your chromosome na. Pag mag-iisa lang po yan, chromatin po tawag natin. Pag nag-duplicate na po siya at man, may, yung, yung left side is exactly the same as your right side, we call that one your sister chromatid. So, don't forget, no? Uh, hindi ko na-explain ito. However, when you talk about your chromatin, ito lang, simply your lower order of your DNA, your, your chromosome is actually your higher order of DNA organization. Right? So, uh, might as well read this one no, as you go along with the activity later on for Kuiper. Now, when you talk about your cell division, no, for cell divisions, alright, dalawa pong cell type ang nag undergo ng cell division. And, to be specific, no, one cell type does this and the other cell type does this. Alright? So, Pag-usapan muna natin, ano ba yung dalawang cell type? We have two types of your cell type. We talk about your somatic cell, which is the first one. First cell, uh, ano? first cell type. Alright, so, doon po, dito po, no, sa cell type natin, oh, we call that one, the first cell type is your somatic cell. Alright? Then, the second one would be your sex cells, or simply what you call your gametes. Alright, kulang ng space. Or gametes. However, very technical in term na somatic cell, no? As I've learned from my biology teacher also, simply when you talk about your somatic cell, no? Si somatic cell po is, so oh, let's say, lagay natin dyan, dagdagan ko. Those are just your body cells. Cells of your body. No? The common body cells that we have. 
So ano bang may example ng mga somatic cells? You have your hair, no? You talk about your hair, no? Do they grow? Alright, so tumutubo po sila. So paano sila dumadami? Paano sila humahaba? It's because of cell division. Now, the same also that aside from your somatic cell, no, meron pa tayong skin cell. Si skin cell po, hindi ganun kadami yung skin natin when we were baby and right now when we were already adults. And in your case, you are already teenagers. Right? So, every day yung skin po natin nagagasgasan, nahuhulog po yung mga cell, yung mga old cells, mga, mga damaged cells, nahuhulog po yan, nagsislough off po yan. Pero bakit hindi tayo naubusan ng cell? It's because your, cells, uh, your skin cells are actually continually reproducing or simply continually dividing. So, your skin cell is an ex another example of your somatic cell. Ano po ba mga kwan? Cells ng muscle natin, uh, bone cells natin, yung bones natin po, uh, yung brain cell natin, you have your your um, your fat cells, no? your fats. So, paano dum tayo tumataba is because of the food and fat cells divide and they grow and grow. That's the, the reason why we get to be fatter and fatter and heavier and heavier. Your your cells in your in your stomach, no? or in your digestive system, those cells there are examples of your somatic cells. Uh, simply when you talk about that one, no, your, 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 your cells in your body, all the cells in your body are somatic cells except no, if you are a male, no, we have your sperm cell, hindi po siya somatic cell. For female, hindi yung 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 uh, yung egg cell nyo is not a somatic cell, but simply the second type of your cell that we're going to talk, which is your sex cells, po. All right, so sex cells. Jen, so let's not interchange. That's the reason why your somatic cells or your body cells, you know, is different from your sex cells. Now, your body cells or your somatic cells undergo a certain process that is not exactly the same as the other process. So, if your somatic cells undergo this one, your sex cells undergo this one. Now, as I've mentioned, no? as I mentioned, we already have introduced ourselves with the term mitosis. Alright? So, sino po sa dalawang type of cell that would be your 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 uh, somatic cell or your your sex cells which among the two there would undergo what you call your mitosis is it the sex cell or is it the um the body cells or the somatic cells right so anjan po yung sagot no na kuha natin all right anyway we we'll talk about more of your sex cells these are your just your body cells they are diploid no term diploid i will explain this one later on but here no it's enclosed that when you talk about diploid cell Two sets of chromosomes po sila. Alright? They function for growth and various metabolic activities besides reproduction. The one I have mentioned about um, your skin. Pag nasugatan, nabawasan ng cell. Tapos mag-grow siya ulit doon. Mag, mag dapat, mag dumami sila. So mag-reproduce, mag-divide. So, it's also for your cell repair. No? Pang repair. Alright? So, mga, mga ganun na mga aside from reproduction. Alright? I'll talk about your sex cells or uh, with what you call your gametes no this is meant for reproduction no yung yung skin cell natin hindi pwedeng gumawa yan ng ibang tao na yan yung ilagay mo yung skin cell ni ganito at saka yung skin cell ng crush mo pinagtama nyo uy may bago kayong anak just with your skin cell hindi po pwede yun no it's only possible for us to reproduce uh, or 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 to ano, to procreate or create another human is through our sex cells so for male, we call that one your sperm cell. We call that one egg cell for your uh, for the female. Now they unite during, you know, during copulation. So they 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 unite, fertilize, and a new human being is born. Now, when you talk about your your cell types, uh, your somatic cell, we mentioned about diploid cell. Diploid, two set because of the word di. However, in your sex cells, there is what you call your haploid haploid. So, pag tawag natin sa haploid, half of the diploid. So, pag two sets doon, one set lang po dito sa isa. Alright? However, let's forget first your sex cells because we're going to uh, 
concentrate on what you call your somatic cells. And your somatic cells undergo the process of mitosis, which is the the the, kano, the lesson for today. Now, for you to be able to kano, for you to be able to understand this one more, this is the video that I I I, I let my students watch since. Uh, since 2016 no in uh, in the school ito po yung kuno pinapanood ko uh, you are to try to find no uh, the, the amoeba sisters ito po yung nam name ng channel sa YouTube wherein they explain well about uh, the cell uh, reproduction or cell division and specifically the mitosis no and even um, the result of paano pag nagkamali yung mitosis anong mangyayari um, if there are problems with your mitosis, no, um, it is related to a very known uh, disease called cancer. So I will be explaining more also about it, no, about the uh, cancer and how is it related to your mitosis, right? And even relate though the COVID nineteen uh, with what it is happening. Though it's not cancer, but viruses also more or less um, and uh, what, no? our, our body how how it reacts to viruses is almost related to this lesson. Alright, so, ano bang hahanapin natin topic dyan sa Amoeba Sisters, no? For you to be able to understand that what more, I'd like you to find this, uh, the uh, titles, The Cell Cycle and Cancer, no? This is the link. And, mitosis muna, no? The amazing cell processes that uses division to multiply. So, parang, nakakatawa. Uh, it talk about your, 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 it, they divide, but, for them to be able to multiply. So, parang, parang ironic, diba? So, ito po yung link and you have your title. So, panuorin nyo po ito because I'll be getting some few uh, questions from the from the YouTube videos that you can watch there, no? Um, encountered problems before when I try to uh, uh, to ipag nila live ko po yung mga lessons and uh, linking that one to another YouTube video, no? Uh, Nagka problema po ako with copyrights. So instead of uh, trying to incorporate that one here in my uh, in my video lessons, you're just you'll be the one to research na lang and watch this video there. At um, maybe if you can't understand the one that I'm I'm explaining, you'll understand that one more with uh, with animations on the on those videos that you'll be encountering. So once again, no, ito po yung itsura nung uh, parang yung opening po ng Amoeba Sisters. So, yan, parang parang pang kinder pero uh, I kid you not, no, this is kano, uh, they are really very amazing in trying to explain. All right. So, ito po. So, let's go now to what you call your cell cycle. I talk about your cycle. It's the same, no? Uh, I think you already encountered also in your your kano. I, you already have also encountered your um, uh, in your elementary days maybe no na meron tayong tinatawag na water cycle so from the word cycle itself no cycle po siya paikot-ikot lang po no pinaikot-ikot lang siya sana hindi kayong iniikot-ikot lang ng mga mahal nyo sa buhay alright so ini umiikot lang yan so Para siyang walang ending. Pag, for example, pag ito yung first process, pupunta sa pinakalas process, then starts again with the first, then ends the pro end up, then starts again, then end up, starts again. So, ganun po yung cycle. It doesn't stop. So, in this picture that we have here, now we call your cell cycle pertains to the processes happening within the cell as it prepares and executes cell division. Alright? So, meron po tayong stage dito po sa cycle na ito nag-prepare. Tapos po, pag dumating na doon sa portion na yun, dito na sila magdi-divide. So, gaano po ka-importante yung preparation po ng cell bago siya mag-divide? Because, no, um, as I've mentioned, ano bang mangyayari pag nagka-problema dito sa cell cycle natin? Now, this is related to the disease called cancer that I'll be explaining more on the upcoming videos. Alright? So, andito po. Now, you talk about your, your cell cycle, so let's do, talk about the different phases under it. Now, the pinaka malaking portion ng phase ng cell cycle nyo po, no? Kasi sinabi dito, your cell cycle consists of your interface, your M phase, and your cytokinesis. Alright, nagahang na yung laptop ko. Anyway, no? Or simply your M phase here talks about your mitosis. So, bago tayo pumunta sa mitosis po, no? 
pag-usapan muna natin interface. To be honest, your interface is the first phase. Then it, your, your cell now goes to your M phase or your mitosis phase or your mitotic phase. Then it goes now to what you call cytokinesis. After cytokinesis, it goes back to your uh, interface once again. Some uh, ones that are mentioned in your no? in your in your your amoeba sisters. There's even what you call your G zero phase there. No, parang resting phase lang minsan. No, pagtatambayan ng po ng mga cell pag hindi sila prepared na magdivide, right? So talk about let's talk about first your interface, yung pinaka malaking portion dito. If we're going to have ano, if we're going to talk about your interface, punta tayo sa interface po dito. It's the longest phase which makes up 90% of the cell cycle. Ito po yung buong ikot. All right. So ito po yung buong ikot po ng ng cell cycle natin. Sabi ko nga parang gulong pa inaikot, ikot ka lang diyan, no? So makita po natin from this first growth phase, synthesis phase, and your second growth phase or your G1, your S phase and your G2, ito po yung pa pangalan dito, no? Ito po buong ito Itong buong ito is your what you call your interface. Interface po yung tatlong tatlong phases po diyan, which is 90%. Then your mitosis phase is actually just around bang 9% and before it your tel oh, meron tayong telophase diyan which is the end part. Tapos bago na naman babalik sa first growth phase, meron tayong tinatawag na cytokinesis. So, 90% po ng cell natin ay dapat prepared po sila na wala pong kamali, wala pong problema sa kanila bago sila mag-divide. No? So, how important is the preparation? It's really very important because it composed no? It's composed of 90% of the whole process. So, a uh, preparation for the cell should be important to the most should be perfect for it to be able to be safe for them to replicate and divide and dumami po sila. So, hindi lang po basta, bastang nag-divide po yung cell natin na kahit paangit po yung cell na yan, kahit may kamali po yung cell na yan, divide lang ng divide ng divide. So, paano na tayo itsura natin ngayon? Magmumuka na tayong monster. Alright? So, meron po tayong mga regulations din dyan. So, later on, ma-encounter ma natin saan ba banda yung mga regulations dyan. Alright? So, ito po yun. So, na interface po really very important because, no, it's the longest phase. It is when the cell is active metabolically and prepares for division. To be specific, your division starts in your M phase. Dito na po sila magdi-divide. However, the preparation is this one which is your interface. Alright? So, ito po from here going there. No? So, pasensya, may, may mukha po ako kasi I like to emphasize no? uh, this one here. So, yan po yung interface. So, let's go now to the next one. So, after your interface, now you talk about your specific under your interface would be your G1 phase. So what happens during G1 phase? Specifically, tanggalin ko po no? So let's make a bigger picture of this one. I hope Kasha pushes the screen. All right. Gilid ko na lang para hindi kahit hindi ko nalagay yung mukha ko. All right. I hope na klaro na po. All right. Ito klaro. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin na cell cycle, yung buo po. And as I've mentioned, from here, going down to here, is your interface. Now, we start with the number one, no? which is what you call your G1 or your growth and normal metabolic growth or simply what you call your growth first growth phase. So ano pong nangyayari dito? From the word itself, nag-grow lang po sila. Yun lang po actually yung keyword dito natin sa G1 phase natin. So oh, let's go back, no? Ano bang nangyayari sa G1 phase? It's stage when the cell starts to grow. Yun lang simply po. Water contents, enzymes and organelles in the cells are doubled. No, so parang nagpre-prepare po sila before going to the S phase later on. So majority of the growth occurs in this area. So this when you talk about growth po, hindi po yung pagdami nila, but to be specific po, ito po yung parang lumalaki sila. No? Lumalaki. So iba po yung nagiging yung isa na nagiging dalawa, 
at saka yung isa na maliit na tumaba. Iba po yun. So, ang nangyari dito, yung isang parang maliit, parang lumalaki. Alright? So, growth po. Growth phase. Yun. Now, after your G G1, no? It goes now to your G1. We go now to what you call your S phase or simply your synthesis phase. Now, here it says your DNA replication. Now, this uh, the S phase is really very important because DNA no, is starting to replicate or nagkakalangan na nilang mag-photocopy ng sarili nila kasi nga kalangan nilang dumami mamaya. So, pag dami nila mamaya, kalangan nila ng another copy ng sarili nila. Now, in this phase, it's really very important no, because we go, when you go to your S phase, allows exact copy of the DNA to be synthesized. Exact copy po. Perfect exact copy. Dapat po wala pong kamali dito. Alright? This is a prerequisite for cell division so that DNA copies can be distributed to the daughter cells. Alright. I think you cannot uh, understand this one more. Let's try to find pictures here kung anong nangyayari dito. Alright? Simply, no? Sige, gawa tayo ng kan. Gawa tayo ng... Gawa tayo ng parang... Well, anong itsura ng my, ano, ng cell division sa... sa ito po, tinata, nangyayari po ito sa, ano, sa, sa somatic cells. Alright? So, let's make a circle. So, ito po yung isang skin cell. Alright? Ito po yung original. Alright? However, para dumami sila, no? Later on, at the end of your whole interface plus your M phase and your cytokinesis or your end of your cell cycle, yung isa po, no? Kasi ito mangyayari dito, no? Magdi-divide po siya. All right. Ni. Gawa tayo ng mas makapal. Alright, mag makapal, ganun. Alright, so magdi-divide po yun siya. Tapos, pag-divide niya, no? Yung divide, pag-divide na yun, no? Yung isa, ngayon. Ano ba to? Ang hirap mag-drawing. Alright, ang isa na yan, magiging dalawang cell na po. Alright. So, ito, gawa tayo ibang kulay. Alright, so, yan. Duplicate. Alright. So, ang tawag po natin dito sa pinak sa blue na ito, uh, originally, this is what you call your parent cell. Now, this parent cell undergoes what you call your... Kita ba? Alright. Your parent cell undergoes what you call your cell cycle and they divide later on. So, itong parent cell na ito magdi-divide. After mag-divide po, no, mawawala na siya kasi magiging dalawa na sila. Now, this cell... No, the first cell here on my on, on our left is actually the same exact cell, the one on the other side. This is specifically telling you that whenever a skin cell divide, it only makes another skin cell. Hindi po pwedeng yung skin cell nyo nag-divide, gumawa ng brain cell. Or yung brain cell nyo po, or your muscle cells, eh, gumawa po ng hair cell. Hindi po pwede yung ganun specific lang po yung mga nangyayari basta dapat magparehas po yung mga cell natin so in your body no pag pag stomach cell stomach cell lang po yung gagawin niya no so that's the reason why the DNA should be the exact copy of the other one because then again anong mangyari pag hindi exact or hindi parehas tapos nag undergo ng division all right so synthesis phase is really very important is because no dapat exact copy ng DNA po Again, I'm emphasizing this one again and again. DNA po natin, hindi po dapat magkamali. Now, what makes us unique person to other person is because my DNA is not the same with the DNA of other person. Even for twins, no? sa kambal po, hindi po parehas yung DNA nila kahit magkamukha po sila. Magkaiba po sila ng DNA. Now, how are we... Ano? Paano po tayo, ano po yung evidence uh, evidence na magpapasabi na sa atin na tayo po ay isang unique na individual? 
That's the reason why for NBI, no? pagpunta nyo po doon, hindi po talagang maiwasan na kunan tayo ng fingerprints is because wala po tayong kaparehas na fingerprint. Because the finger pat, the, the print patterns here in our fingers are actually being um, being dictated by how your DNA is composed or how your DNA is made up of. So, yung DNA ko po, hindi po parehas sa DNA na parents ko. Hindi po parehas ng... Pe, kwa, uh, kwa, no? Kasi may slight na ma-difference. Kaya, pag makita natin, no, specific ito. No? Specific ito po yung mga kwan. Mga uh, nagpa, ebidensya nagpapasabi sa atin that we are so unique. Now, fun fact, even zebras, no? Alam nyo yung mga stripe na pattern ng zebras? No, the same stripe patterns for each zebra. Every zebra, unique po yung mga kwan. Yung mga patterns, yung mga stripes nila sa bodies nila. So, yan po yung kwan. So, dito po sa synthesis phase, pag meron tayong isang DNA from the parent cell, no? when you talk about your parent cell, this blue cell here, kailangan niyang mag-prepare ng another copy of it. No? So, para finoto-copy niya, dapat agparehas. Para later on, pag-divide, no? nag-separate yung dua, parehas pa rin po. Alright? So, I hope na na nagets nyo po yung part na yun, ano? So, yun po yung nangyayari sa S phase. Now, let's go now to the G2 phase or your second growth phase nandito po sa banda ng side na ito. I hope that you get to still see, no? Ano nangyayari dito? Continuous growth po dito and prepares for the division because after this one, now it starts no what you call your mitosis phase, your division na. Proteins, important for the chromosome and mitotic spindle formation is produce. Now, I will show you a picture of this one more kasi hindi nagpakita dito. Pero, yun nga, yun nga. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you a picture more. So, we have your G1 phase, normal growth, normal function po ng cell. Tapos, mag, mag, mag photocopy po sila o mag duplicate or replicate sila ng DNA nila. Tapos, punta na po sila more continuations of their growth and preparations of the requirements before na mag -de divide and yun na nga po yun na yun na yung point na yun pero minsan no before going to your before going there sa mitosis phase no which is actually your cell division na nitong banda dito meron tayong parang hidden na phase diyan which we call your G0 phase or simply what you call your resting phase minsan po kasi hindi po perfect na nag -re -rep DNA replication ng total exact copy nung nandito pa sa S phase. However, nag-continue po sila dito, nag-grow and grow. Pero napansin po nila doon sa G0 phase, teka, may kulang kang requirement, hindi ka pwedeng mag-divide. Diba? This is the same person, like for example, the same, the same thing happened in real life. No, pag yung requirement mo para makapasok ka school, naka-uniform ka, naka-ID naka ka. So, pag wala ka nun, hindi ka makapasok. Ganito po yung nangyayari dito. So, anong nangyayari sa cell? No? Anong nangyayari dito sa cell na sa part dito? is either, no? Because not all cells will continue to also divide. So, ano ba nangyayari? Kasi, sa body natin, though, some, most of the somatic cells or body cells divide, some other cells actually do not divide. To be specific, when, uh, these are what you call your labile cells. No? Uh, the, cells the brain cells in your, in, your, in your head, whenever encounter accidents at nasira na po yan, merong mga cell na namatay, hindi po sila na nagdi-divide. Pag patay na po, patay na po. Pag na, nabawasan kayo ng number of brain cells in your brain, hindi nabawas na po. That's a reason why for some people, they tend to forget. They, they lose their sanity. They have problems with their behavior. They have problems with their thinking. No? So, nangyayari dyan. It's because your brain cells, whenever damaged, they do not divide anymore. That's the reason why for your brain cell, when you were still growing, no, when you were younger, it still grows. So, guma, nag nangyayari po dyan, cell cycle. No? However, There will come a time they stop already with their division. Ano, saan sila, kwan? Saan sila tumatambay? Hanggang doon na lang po sila sa G0 phase, sa resting phase. Hindi na po sila nag-undergo sa next phase, which is your mitosis phase. That's the reason why, no? Ito, ito pong G0 phase is actually tambayan po. 
tambayan ng mga cells na hindi na magdi-divide or ito yung tambayan po ng cells na pag meron po silang kulang na requirements, maybe problema po during the copying of the DNA, natatambay po sila muna dito, kukumpletuhin po muna nila yung requirements nila bago po sila papasok po sa mitosis phase. Alright, so dito po sa G0 phase sila pumapasok. But, this is really a very hidden phase lang po dyan. Sa G, after G2 phase is your G0. So, tatago po sila muna dyan. Alright? So, dito na po importante yung mga sinasabi nating dapat perfect po. To the most perfect po yung cell cycle natin. However, in the real life, hindi po minsan perfect yung cell cycle po natin. Minsan po, nagkakaproblema doon sa replication. Minsan, nung nag-replicate na sila, hindi po exact copy yung DNA na nagawa. Or, nung nag-replicate na sila, sumobra sa isa, kulang dito sa isa. Or, nung nag-divide na sila, teka, no, yung chromosomes na ng dami dito is hindi parehas dito. Or merong nawawala, merong na-delete, merong na-insert. Ito na po yun dito yung nagkaka-problema. So, para maiwasan po ito at maiwasan yung pagka-problema, no, the, on the preparation before it starts to divide, meron po tayong tinatawag na mga checkpoints. Parehas lang po ng no, mga checkpoints na nangyayari po ngayon sa mga barangay natin. Sa daanan po, your LTO, your highway patrol group, Diba? Nagsi-checkpoint sila ng mga sasakyan kung merong lisensya, merong nakarehistro po yung sasakyan nila. Yun po. So, the same happens here in your cell. We have your different checkpoints. Um, we have actually your checkpoints. Tatlo po yung checkpoints natin. However, I'll introduce the last, uh, the, no, only the two and maybe slightly daanan natin yung isang checkpoint. So, dito po sa checkpoint po, no? balikan natin yung buo, yung this one. No? So, G1 po natin dito. Sa G1 po, meron pong checkpoint dyan. Tapos po, dito po sa S phase, synthesis phase, meron din pong checkpoint dyan. So, let's get to talk about what happens to those checkpoints there. Alright, so, in your G1, in your G1 checkpoint, anong ginagawa niya? Primary checks for proper cell size. Dapat po, tama yung laki. Adequate nutrients. Kasi po, undergoing on, the, whenever they go to that process, they have the, the nutrients enough for them to be able to have the energy to survive the whole process dapat tama po yung kwan yung 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 nutrient supply tapos any dna damage pag meron po silang nakitang merong damage po doon teka hanggang diyan ka lang sa checkpoint hindi ka pwedeng dumaan at hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa next phase unless na ayusin mo yung sarili mo all right and yung mga cell growth factors so meron po itong mga parts din ng cell na kailangan meron sila doon Alright? So, dito po, no? When you talk about your G1, ito, so, ito po yung unang checkpoint dito. G1, alright. Nutrients, growth, factors, and DNA damage. So, anong nangyari po pag sa G1, pag hindi po sila nakapasa sa requirement nila sa checkpoint? Diretso sila sa resting state. Sa G0 po. Aayusin po muna nila yung sarili nila. Pag okay na, daan sila ulit sa checkpoint. Tapos, kumpleto yung papeles, kompleto po yung requirements, oh, you can now go to the next phase. Alright? So, ito po yung phase. Alright, I'm sorry. Instead of mentioning about your S phase, it's actually your G2 phase. No? So, sa G2 phase po, yung isang checkpoint. So, meron tayo sa G1, meron po tayo sa G2 in this area. Alright, let me make this one bigger. Alright, so, alright, so sa G1 phase po, ito yung G1, ano, yung growth 1 phase. So, pag hindi po kompleto yung requirements checkpoint, they go now to the resting phase. The same, now, if it goes now, no, kasi sabi ko nga, no, kung walang damage, pwede po silang mag-divide with the exact copy during the synthesis phase. However, after the replication of the DNA on the S phase, minsan po, hindi din ulit perfect. That's the reason why whenever they reach the G2 phase, then again, they have checkpoints here. And ano pong ginagawa ng checkpoints dito? Cell size, tinitingnan po nila kung tama yung size. Or, again, sa G2, kung perfect po yung pagkakapi ng DNA po during your 
S phase or your DNA synthesis phase. So, let's go back to that point there. No? So, andito po. So, dito si S phase. Pag merong damage at nakita nila, nasa, na checkpoint, tapos, uy, damage yung DNA mo. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-divide. Kasi mahirap pag nag-damage damage ka. Alright? So, after dyan, kung damage or sira, then they go back to the G0 phase. Resting phase muna sila ulit. Tambay sila. Ayusin nila yung sarili nila. Ayusin nila kung anong requirement, anong kulang. No? Then, they go now to the next phase. Now, pag nangyayari po doon, sa cell na yon is beyond repairable na po. Hindi na pwedeng i-repair during the G2 phase at checkpoint na yun po. No? Hindi na sila pwedeng ma-repair. Ma na anong gagawin natin doon? Alangan naman ipasa natin sa next phase tapos magdi-divide na sila. So yung cell na nagdi-divide po sa yung ngayon, problematic. Meron pong abnormal yung mga cell na nagdi-divide. Yun po yung iniiwasan natin dahil dito sa mga checkpoints na ito. Now, ano pang nangyayari pag hindi na nakaya? ba Pumunta sila sa G0 pag meron silang kulang na requirements. Nang iba, nakaka-repair. Okay, punta sila sa checkpoint ulit. O, oh, pasado. Next phase, go. How about those ones that are beyond repair already? So, meron po tayong tinatawag natin na apoptosis. Um, one of my teacher in the university mentioned about um, uh, how to pronounce this one. Apoptosis. Sabi niya, apoptosis. Uh, um, silent second letter p uh, apoptosis either way i'm not really very no, very particular with the pronunciation for this one but then this is what you call your program cell death or simply your cell undergoes all right undergo do not quote me with this one no suicide nagsi suicide po yung cell na yon pag nakita nila na hindi na po nila kayang magdivide no hindi na nila kayang magdivide teka i'm not worthy to be getting more and more, mararami. No? Mahirap po sa isang tao na nagdi-divide po yung cell niya na may problema. Dapat po, sabi ko nga, as much as possible, perfect po yung cell before mag-divide. Pero kasi hindi po perfect yung cell na yun, like, tapos hindi na sila kayang ma-repair, magpapakamatay po sila. Or simply what you call your program cell death or your self-destruct po ng cell natin. They will dis be destroyed, they will be lysed, no? Parang magme-meltdown sila and namatay sila, then, alright, hindi sila. But sometimes, no? Um, the third phase would be your metaphase checkpoint. However, I'm not going to go there kasi pag-uusapan naman natin yung, yung mitosis phase, no? yung, yung M phase na or your, yung doon. So, I'll be reserving that point there. But what's the point of your checkpoint? What's the point of your checkpoint? Ano bang importante or purpose ng checkpoints po dito? Sila po yung naguhuli ng abnormal cells. So we have one in your G1, we have in your, uh, alright, we have one in your G1 and one in your G2. Ito po interface preparation before mag-divide. Dapat po perfect yung cell. Kaya meron po tayong checkpoints. Now, no, as I've mentioned, sometimes even with the checkpoints, some abnormal cells passes through, nakakapuslit po doon sa checkpoint. Now, this is now related to what you call disease. Ano bang nangyari dito? Cell mo, nakalusot, kahit problematic, abnormal yung cell mo, lumusot sa checkpoint. Now, ngayon, yung problematic cell na yan, nag-divide. Now, bumalik ulit sa cell cycle, nag-divide ulit. Tapos, nag-divide ulit. Now, the continuous multiplication o pagdami po ng mga abnormal cells na yun is now what you call a disorder called cancer. Dito po na yung sinasabi natin cancer, either cancer of the throat, especially for smokers, colon cancer, cancer of the large intestine, no? dumadami po yung mga abnormal cells sa large intestine mo kaya nakakaroon ka ng colon cancer. Dito po sa throat, throat cancer because of smokers, because of introduction of chemicals, that these cells become abnormal and lumusot doon sa mga checkpoints at dumami, kumalat. Now, pag kumalat yan at abnormal yung mga cell na yon, that is now what you call your cancer. 
That's the reason why for your cell cycle, cell division is related to what you call your cancer. The amazing God has uh, has created our bodies so amazing. Kasi I was amazed of a certain gene in our body. By, uh, uh, it's actually uh, parang related to our genes. What you call your P54. Your P54 is the one that will get to decide if a cell undergoes apoptosis or self-destruct. Because abnormal cells are not worthy to be dividing and dividing and they become many in your body and that is now what you call your cancer. Because simply your cancer is what you call your uh, ano, um, uncontrolled cellular division. Kasi yung cellular division po natin, kontrolado po yan. No? Kontrolado po. Kasi pag divide lang, divide, divide ng cell natin, im imagine mo po. Let's say, for example, if you are 16 years old, 14 years old, 15 years old, that sa ganun, then uncontrolled yung cell division natin, anong itsura mo na ngayon? For the last 15 years, it's continue to divide and divide and uncontrolled. Cancer po yun. Kaya po, dito po, sa cell division na ito, kailangan po nating maging healthy because if we are healthy, we have lots of your P54 which is actually the one related to your apoptosis. Sila po yung nag initiate ng program cell death po natin that if your cell is abnormal, boom! I need to self-destruct because I am not worthy to be dividing and to be increasing in number of the human body. Ito po yung point natin po dito. That's the reason why, no? I'll be reserving this part here lang sa interface lang mo muna, tay muna tayo. But we'll be ending here sa checkpoints and the importance of your checkpoints. Now, as I mentioned, no? Ito, ito po yung mga term. Uh, this is actually the one, P54. Small letter P po yung P. Alright? Is the one that initiates apoptosis. Alright? siya po yung initiate ng apoptosis and here and this kwan no um this is related here dito sa kwan sa G2 checkpoint mo tapag hindi sila hindi na po sila pwedeng ma-repair undergo apoptosis because they are it's better for them to die than to increase in number and undergo division so I hope po na understand po yun yung point ng cancer because later on I'll be talking more about cancer because this is actually the the importance of mitosis and the whole uh, the whole cell cycle no in this in this process um ito po yung uh, kwan, yung 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 paano kayo makarelate is because of cancer so there you go no um I think I think uh wala naman na comment dito uh, I think the uh, I'll be ending here and uh, the part 2, i-continue po natin doon sa mitotic phase na po. So, ano bang expect natin sa part 2? It's actually your PMAT. Alright? So, PMAT, letter P, letter M, letter A, and letter T. It's actually an acronym for you to be able to understand more the mitosis phase. So, going back here sa next lesson po natin, pag-uusapan natin itong yellow and white ones here. Your mitosis phase. So, we're done with the first three one. This is your interface. Specifically, your G1, your S, and your G2. Now, they have your 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 checkpoints there. in your G, One in your G1 and one in your G2. Now, meron pa tayong hidden mga phase dyan, which call your G0. However, this is related to the one found in the Amoeba Sisters na mga video. Please watch them if you for you to be able to understand more what I'm talking about. Alright, I think um, I'll be ending it here because... Ang dami ko nang sinabi. And, uh, I'll be having the second part for this one. So, I hope that you still have the, no, the, the enthusiasm to learn that if despite, despite this, uh, despite this crisis that we have right now, I hope that everything will be fine after April 30 that we get to resume our, uh, and see ourselves once again. Kung kailangan natin mag, personal protective equipment at school, then why not? Let's do that one, cover our faces, put on our mask, and even maybe uh, a better clothing for us to protect ourselves. Yun po, para lang po magkita tayo kasi I believe, no, and I get to understand that students have a hard time just reading without even understanding whatever they are reading in their activities. That's the reason why I'm making this video lesson for you to understand more about this one. So, don't forget to watch the Amoeba Sisters for uh, the more explanation of 
that one. So ano ba yung mga nandoon? So find these topics, no? So ito po yung Amoeba Sisters natin. And ito po yung makikita yung opening nila sa mga videos nila. And these topics, your cell cycle and cancer and your mitosis which is the part 2. All right? So meron tayong 3 watching now pero hindi naman sino nagsalita. Salita um Siguro okay na. No, um, I think okay na. So, without further much ado, I'll be ending it here. I hope that we get to see once again in the part 2 of this lesson. Again, thank you very much for staying with me. I hope that you enjoy more uh, learning about the lesson. Uh, good morning once again and God bless you.